Hey, what is up guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and today I'm gonna share five tips on how to build your own personal website. During this break, I spent a lot of time updating all of my media accounts and helping my friends update their own personal web pages. This process can take up a lot of your time, and I would definitely recommend starting right now. now some people might push back at the idea of starting a website, since there are so many social media accounts out there. But sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest all limit the amount of interaction you can have with your community, while a website can do it all. For example, your web page can help you store critical documents, get customer information, display images, sell digital products, and much, much more. On top of that, all the content you put on your website will be searchable on Google for years to come. So now that I've convinced you that websites are powerful, here are five tips that will help you get started immediately. Number one, build the website yourself. I 100% recommend you making the website in your spare time yourself. Some companies charge upwards of five to $10,000 to build and maintain your website, while it should only cost you around $10 per month. It really is that affordable to build it out yourself. On top of that, you will have full control over the design and content of your web pages. You have the ability to make something that is completely unique to your personal brand so that you can stand out of the crowd. A lot of these website companies use really bland designs, so just take some time to do it yourself. Number two, create a domain name. The domain name is the web address that people type in their browser in order to discover your site. While you may want to use your own name for your website, it may be unavailable. A lot of these domain names have already been taken and some of the best domain names are kept by people that plan on selling them to big companies down the line. So if you have a website name that you've been thinking about, secure it now before someone else takes it. I personally purchased about eight domain names, which are variations of my name and my wife's name because I wanted to secure them before someone took them from me. Number three, start laying out your website. If you're building out a professional website, you can start filling out the most essential pages now. An about me section tells a little bit about yourself and your personal story. A services section tells your patients what type of procedures you offer at the office. Now, if you're making a personal website, you can start writing blog posts about whatever topic you wanna to talk about. It's actually kind of therapeutic to put your thoughts on paper and also it will help you pick out a template when the time comes. Number four, be patient. Website building takes time and there is a learning curve. But lucky for us, we live in the information age where you can find out how to make a website step by step on YouTube. In fact, I have a web link that will help you get started and I'm also gonna put my contact information below if anyone needs any assistance whatsoever. Once you get good at building websites and you will get really good at it, you can focus on expert tips like optimizing page speed, making the website mobile friendly, and focusing on search engine optimization, which gives people more of the ability to find you on search engine sites like Google or Bing. Number five, have fun. Don't be scared of this process, but embrace it. Choose colors and designs that represent you. Share your journey and blog about it. We need to be more connected than ever, and this is a way to share your story with people all across the world. In fact, you might be shocked at what doors will open as you build out your blog or website. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to making more videos on how to stay productive during this time, stay safe, and be healthy.